Hi, I'm going to talk about one of my most favorite cameras. It's time to get back to some fun stuff, and I'm going to show you something really cool that goes with this camera. This is my Alpa camera. It's one of my favorites. We can basically call it a $50,000 point and shoot. Um, it's set up with a phase one back, auxiliary viewfinder, and I have the 90 millimeter lens on here right now. Uh, it's a 90 millimeter rotenstock, and it's just a gorgeous system. And this is what I like to shoot a lot of my landscapes with, specifically when it's time to slow down. I have great digital back to work with, I get a real cable release. It even has a shutter, listen to that. Oh, you know, this kind of brings it back. But all this has to sit on a tripod, even though I can point and shoot, and actually, you know, I even have a neck strap around here that I can put it around my neck. So uh, this system has been very, very good to me, and I've done a lot of amazing pictures with it. But along the way, I've used a lot of different tripods and tripod heads, and the guys at Alpa, these are the most brilliant engineers, you can ever meet, have come up with the ultimate Tinker Toy Lego tripod system. Let me show you. It comes in this case. Now I got this case from them, it comes in the mail and they said, you'll love what you're gonna see. So it's like, oh my God, they sent me another camera. This is gonna be a lot of fun. What they really sent me though, is a secret Sam. Modular tripod kit. Isn't this the coolest thing you've ever seen? It's got all sorts of little parts in here. These all snap together to do some really amazing things. And what I'm going to do is show you how this works. And we're gonna go through uh, some of the pieces here. Look at this, this is, once again, beautiful Alp engineering. This is a slide that goes on top of the whole system. So you can put your camera on top of there and you know, just, you gotta feel it to believe it, it's so smooth. So we're gonna look at this and we're gonna put a lot of things together. I'm gonna start off with making a small tripod. So essentially I'm gonna take these little, very lightweight, beautifully crafted and engineered with little rubber balls on the bottom of them. And I'm just gonna screw them in to the tripod mount kit. And now I've got a little mini tripod. And that's pretty cool, because at this point, if I just wanted to, I could just take this camera, stick it on there, bingo. But it doesn't really do me good because there's no head, there's no uh, adjustments, so I really can't do much at this point. So I've got to take it a little bit further. So I'm going to get out a couple more of the gadgets that they provided me and begin to put together uh, more of a very cool tripod kit. We're going to need this. We're going to need that, and we're gonna need this. Now, if any of you are familiar with uh, the old uh, big cube head, you'll know that that was a marvelous piece of engineering. Uh, it weighed 10 pounds on top of your tripod on top of putting a big camera on it, so it was uh, pretty outrageous. But I'm gonna take this piece and that piece, and I'm gonna slide this together. And then I'm going to tighten that down a little bit. And you can see now I've got a cube system and I've got the ability to crank that baby out there. Now I've got all this great smooth work here. Works very nicely. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put that on top of here and lock it into place. Pretty nice. So now I've got a system that'll give me all my different angles. So let's put the camera on top of here and see what it looks like. And now I've got the ability to make my camera go sideways, make my camera go up and down. All right, whatever way I want. Look at all this kind of cool movement. And you can adjust the tension of this movement very easily with the uh, side dials. At this particular point, this is all well and good, but I've got no ability to turn it sideways at this point. So thinking, and the Alpha guys are thinking too. So let me take the camera back off of here and put another piece on. So I'm gonna take this panoramic head, I'm gonna screw a Swiss, uh, Arca Swiss clamp head on it. And now I've got a little device that allows me to 
rotate around, I can adjust the tension with this brass knob, lock it down, and even have a click stop so that if you know you want it to go around in certain increments, you can basically make it go around in click stops. Now I've got my alpha camera, the phase back, on top of a cube head with a panorama head. So I can loosen this one screw, and now I can rotate this around smooth as butter. Lock it in where I want it, and then I can take these big brass knobs, this one here and there's one on the back here, and adjust this camera to exactly the way I would like to see it. This thing is so nice to use. And you don't have to use all the pieces and parts at once. You can take them out and use them as you need them. You don't need to use it with this tripod head. This tripod head is self-leveling too, by the way, so essentially you can level everything off, lock it into place, and then make your minute adjustments accordingly. And of course, using live view on the back, it makes it really very simple to, to work with. So let's take a look at a couple other things that can be put on top of this to make our job even easier. Now we want to get really critical. Say we're doing macro work or something. We'll put this slide on here, like that, tighten it down. We still have the ability to move this around the way we want it, which I'm going to move it right about there. Imagine we want to do focus stacking. We have a flower, we're doing some macro work. We've got uh, maybe a longer lens on here with uh, an extension so that we can do close focusing. And we want to use the lens wide open or whatever. Uh, so we do our first exposure and then we can just start cranking this baby in here for each of the multiple exposures, taking additional pictures and then eventually bring them back in focus stacking. So this is a nice slide rail. It's a nice additional focus rail for fine tuning uh, your images with this particular setup. So this is kind of the basic setup. You've got kind of a cube head that you can adjust the way you want. You've got a panorama head. You've got a slide head. And this all is modular. If you don't need them, you don't use them. You only use the pieces and parts you want. And I still have some really cool stuff left in the kit. So in the kit, I've got rings. So if I was working with ca cameras and I want to take this and put it onto a, a knob, I can put it on a brass knob like that. And this just gives you a little extra room to you know, work on a, on a finer scale. So I can rotate it around to be perfect. I can grab this, rotate that, and I can go up and down on my focusing scale. So this allows you to get either beyond the camera or in the camera, they slide right off easily, and you can stick them on and you know, work it a different way. So these are your extensions. Um, they've got all sorts of other little tools in here. Depending on what Alpha back you want, you can support your back, and this is a tripod uh, set up to hook uh, the Alpha system up to uh, the, the system. You got smaller ARCA clamping heads for some of the smaller camera systems. So there's all sorts of neat, neat, really cool little pieces and parts in here to make sure that this system works extremely well. I got an extension here so that if you've got a bigger system, you can actually raise this camera up using these parts. This is a beautifully cool system to work with. In addition, you can make a full tripod kit out of this. So you can remove these legs and put all these legs on there and have a real full-size tripod. So this is so freaking cool. So depending on how you work, this is a modular system that will allow you to build up a system for mounting your camera whatever way you want. So this is the Alpagon system. The pricing is below. You can talk to any one of your Alpa dealers. They're listed uh, on the Alpa website. If you haven't had a chance to take a look at this system, take a look at it, because it's badass. I have fun playing with this stuff. I have fun using this stuff, and it answers a lot of needs of photographers, specifically outdoor photographers and commercial photographers doing work in the studio, especially when you need to track in for doing that fine focusing. So this is the Alpagon system. I'm Kevin Raber. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the Luminous Landscape.